So when Town Hall 15 dropped, Skelly Donut became more difficult. But here we see Klaus making it look easy and crushing this base. Let's jump in. All right, we've got Klaus coming in with the next one. Klaus coming in with the Lalo. Looks like it's just going to be a Sui Lalo here. He does have a couple of skellies and bats looking for the skelly donut. And here we go. Looks like he's going for the multi inferno, the monolith and the clan castle. Let's see if he's able to get all that down. Next invis is in. Skellies get through the clan castle. Monolith goes down. And so does the multi. Very nice skelly donut. It's a very difficult thing to pull off, but Klaus made it look easy. All right, let's see how the rest of the attack goes here. Get the king in from six, RC in as well. RC should actually go up to the right for the multi. Then king can get the scatter, and of course queen is responsible for the town hall. I really like the way that the path thing is shaping up. RC's got to go to ability early, but she does get the multi down. King gets the scatter. Queen going a little off course, but she should turn back. There we go. Queen is going back. He's going to go ahead and freeze up the town hall and the expo. So make sure she's got that ability for the town hall. Eagle is activated, locked onto the king. And he should be safe here. He's got the king there to help as well. And here we go with the stone slammer on the bottom side of the base. We do have that one sweeper over here by the enemy RC. We'll see if that ends up being an issue. Start some balloons here on the bottom side. There we go. Warden is in. Found a few Teslas. Of course, Queen did secure that town hall. She's actually staying out of that poison too. So Unicorn's getting a chance to help keep her going. Pop the Warden's ability. I believe he had Headhunters in there to take out the enemy RC. And down she goes. More balloons in from the top side of the base. This is looking great so far. He's still got a heal spell to use. Which could be handy through this defensive poison. And there we go. As well as that multi there, able to shake off all that damage. Looks like the queen went down over on the left side, but I don't think it's going to matter. He's still got a bunch of balloons. He's still got the stone slammer. He's got tons of cleanup. And Klaus is able to pull off another triple here for queen walkers. 38 seconds left. He's got it. Down go the last few buildings. Makes it look easy. We don't even get to see what's in the Stone Slammer. Crazy. Here we go, Nabrax is in. Looks like a Blizz Lalo. Blimp over the top. He's going to drop it here. Does he have a wall breaker? He does indeed. So the wall gets opened up. Next invis is in. Those wizards did take a little damage, but as long as the timing's good on the invis spells, he's fine. And he does secure the town hall. Going to try to go for a little bit more here. Is he going to be able to get the monolith? No, he's out of invis. It's a nice chunk of the base down, though. Ice Skull Lament, Baby Dragon, Sneaky Goblins trying to funnel these heroes in towards the scatter. King and Queen moving in. Ice Golem's going to freeze the cannon. Queen's taking her time. She should head in after that air defense. Poison for the enemy Queen. He doesn't have to worry about the clan castle. He did get that with the blimp, which is actually super nice. King's used his ability. Queen's still following along behind. King's actually going to switch walls here. And he switches back, and he's going to switch back again. What is this king doing? It's usually the queen's job. Watch him switch back again. Oh, he's going to go down. He's staying on the same wall this time. That's good. Queen's going to help. 
If he would have just stuck with one wall, he would have been good. But we got the Lalo coming in from the top side and the base. So balloons move in, take out the monolith, take out the sweeper. Can they get the scatter shot as well? Look like they can. So scatter goes down. Balloons move into the eagle. Down it goes. Queen's still pushing along on the right side. Can she stay alive here? She's super low. Ah, she's going to go down. But we pop the RC's ability. She's going to finish off the multi. Just a couple of defenses left. He's got cleanup on the board. He's got plenty of time. I think Nebrax is going to be able to get it done here. Wizard Tower drops. Archer Tower is going to go down. And this will be a triple. Tribe Gaming finally on the board. Last couple of buildings going down. They got to pluck through these storages. But again, plenty of time to get it done. Lots of minions. We got a couple of balloons left. RC, Warden. And Tribe Gaming able to stay alive going into the end of the match. Is it Kazuma? Nope, it's Gaku. Alright. He's coming in with Queen Charge Hydra. Just two Dragon Riders in this one. The Queen is in. She's in from 6 o'clock. Interesting base here. Queen's going to go off to the left. Eventually. Taking a lot of damage from this uh, expo here. Not enough to need a rage spell, though. Not yet. I think you might need it soon. There we go. Still pushing along. Defensive poison goes off. Got the flame flinger on the right side of the base. And he's going to make his way in towards the eagle eventually. Defensive poison is going to fade away. So luckily these healers staying alive for now. Queen needs to get that tower down. And down it goes. Hopefully the scatter shot doesn't switch to the healers. Looks like it might. They're just outside of range right now. Ooh, they're barely staying outside of that range. Drop the invis for the queen. She'll be able to finish off that single inferno. Now she's going to pick a fight with the king. And then she should be able to go for the town hall. But Flameflinger finally onto the eagle on the right side. It's down to a minute and a half left. And here we go with the hydra down the middle of the base. Ooh, we got some headhunters moving over to the queen. She still has not gone for that town hall. We got the eagle out of the way. Finally. Dragon's pushing in. Queen popped her ability for the town hall. They, they still have two scatter shots to get through. Pops Warden's ability. Everything pushing into the core now. King's on the top side with the RC. Less than a minute left in this attack. He's got three free spells left to work with. He can keep this scatter shot frozen on the back side. I think that would help tremendously. There we go. Next freeze on the scatter. Dragon's still moving through. Still has the RC's ability. He's going to have to pop it here shortly. Last freeze on the expo and scatter shot. There's the RC's ability. 30 seconds left. It's looking good. I think he's got this. Gaku coming in with the dragons, but lots of skelly spells trying to slow everything down, but he's got it. It's a triple for Queen Walkers, and that just might seal the deal there, unless something crazy happens here in the last couple of hits. And there we have it, Queen Walkers dominating in this one, 13 to 11. Good try to Tribe Gaming. They will still have their shot to compete in the lower bracket. And uh, there we have it. Congrats to Queen Walkers. They did actually make it all the way through and finish FCC in first place. The runner-ups were Clash Champs, and I believe Tribe ended up in third. But overall, a great tournament. Lots of amazing attacks through that one. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up down below and consider hitting that subscribe button as well. Thank you guys for stopping by, and I'll catch you all next time.